Good morning, HWC Kids. This month in Kids Connect, we're starting back at the beginning, the beginning of time, that is, to compare God's ability to make good things with our tendency to break them. Today, we're jumping into the creation story to be reminded of all the good and beautiful and amazing things that God makes. So let's recap together using the Jesus Storybook Bible. In the beginning, there was nothing, nothing to hear, nothing to see, nothing to feel, only emptiness and darkness and nothing but nothing. But God was there and God had a wonderful plan. I'll take this emptiness, God said, and I'll fill it up. Out of the darkness, I'm going to make light and out of the nothing, I'm going to make everything. So he did, right? On day one, he made day and night. Day two, he made the sea and the sky. On day three, he made the land with trees and plants. On day four, he made the moon and the sun and the stars. On day five, he made the creatures that live in the sea and the creatures that fly in the sky. And on day six, he made the land animals and Adam and Eve. And God looked at everything he had made perfect he said, and it was. And all the stars and the mountains and the oceans and galaxies and everything were nothing compared to how much God loved his children. He would move heaven and earth to be near them, always, whatever happened, whatever it cost him, he would always love them. And so it was the wonderful beginning of a love story. Look around you. God's creation is amazing, isn't it? Scientists estimate that there are between 9 and 11,000 species of birds in the world today. The total number of living fish species is about 32,000. There are about 73,000 species of trees, including roughly 9,000 that we don't even know about yet. There are 326 million trillion gallons of water on Earth. That's 326 followed by 18 zeros. And there are approximately 200 billion trillion stars in the universe. That's 200 sextillion or 200 followed by 21 zeros. Creating that many different things takes some serious creativity, doesn't it? But in Psalm 8, 3 through 4, it says, When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them? human beings that you care for them. God created all of creation, but he saved the best for last. You and me and over 8 billion other unique, beautiful people around the world to love him and to share his beautiful world with him. And out of all of those people, there is only one you. God made everything and he made you. He didn't have to make you, but he chose to because he loves you and is proud to call you his child. I pray that today and every day, you will not only see God's love in everything around you that he's created, but that you will never ever forget just how much he loves you and how beautiful and special you are to him. Have a great day.